I don't know how to feel about the birds singing when I hear the ambulance sirens in the background. I am learning to count blessings by the number of eggs I still have left. Fifteen. Or counting each and every one of my nine cans of chickpeas, kiss and tuck each one to bed, fondle my six. Or is it seven oranges? Okay, now six and a half in the fridge. I grace each precious bag of flour with its own crown. I'm taking notes of all the details I didn't notice before, pressing my ears up close to the subtleties of life. Wind rustling through the trees and kissing my cheeks on the balcony. The sizzle of the pan after putting in frozen dumplings. How the sauce glistens in the sun, sparkling hua jiao, a joy I did not know existed. Or the way my stomach clenches after my friends make me LOL. <laughs> the way my teachers still smile, still try their best, even when no one responds. I'm sorry my camera is off again. Please know I am smiling too. The guttural sounds of the COVID throat test, fighting my stubborn tongue. I am trying to take it all in. The bittersweetness of enjoying my favorite season indoors. Yearning for a change in scenery, making do, sipping tea, and only tasking myself to listen to silence and appreciate the mundane. I am trying to find ways to smile, even in oddities. I looked up the word for lockdown in Chinese, and it only listed jiefeng. I'm exercising voyeurism, perhaps too shamelessly. Watching neighbors water plants lovingly, and discovering another neighbor has a dog. So much to say about this life, I never knew. I always knew. The tenderness of check-ins and celebration of little victories, with old friends and old teachers, and new friends and new teachers too. Everyone so tiesin, leaving me sin tongue. My breath, still trying to find its way, to be heard.